In this video, we can discuss about the identification methods of microorganism. We had discussed about the microscopic morphological methods of identification in previous video. Here we will discuss the rest of the method. Next method is macroscopic morphologic method or colony appearance. In this, after the culturing of the microorganism, we will study the morphology of colony formed. According to the colony form, we can identify the type of microorganism. In this, we will study different the macroscopic morphology like colony appearance, speed of growth and pattern of growth. In colony appearance, we can study the color of colony, size in the millimeter, structure whether it is opaque, transluent or transparent and according to the surface whether it is smooth, wavy, rough, granular, papillae or glistening and consistency whether it is membranous or friable or viscid. So these are the some uh, patterns of colony formation, whole colony, punctiform, circular, rhizoid, irregular, filamentous and based on the edge of the colony, whether it is entire, endulate, lobate, filamentous, curved. So these are some identification methods of microscopic morphology. So from this, this is observation of an colony formation after the incubation. Coming to the next one, physiological or biochemical characteristics. This is an important topic uh, in our syllabus. We can study different physiological characteristics like resistant to our heat, disinfectant, antibiotic, chemotherapeutic agents and bacteriocins. And metabolism uh, requires some uh, requirement of oxygen, carbon dioxide, capacity of pigments and production of hemolysis. And most important part of this topic is biochemical identification according to biochemical reactions. There are 16 biochemical identification texts. This is based on biochemical pathway present in the microorganism and different methods are sugar fermentation, litmus milk reaction, indole production, methyl red test, vocus prosker test, citrate utilization, nitrate reduction, ammonia production, urease test, hydrogen sulfate production test, methylene blue reduction, catalyzed production, oxidase reduction, aqueous reaction, growth in presence of potassium cyanide, triple sugar ion test. Now coming to the first one, sugar fermentation test. This is to determine the product of sugar fermentation like acid or alkali products produced by the microorganism. So by this test, we can identify the microorganism capable for the fermentation process. It containing a reagent with three essential ingredients. 0.5 to 1% carbohydrate to be tested like lactose or glucose. The nutrient growth and pH indicator phenol red. So fermentation will cause an acid development which will give a yellow color and gas formed during the fermentation can be collected into rams too. It is mainly used to separate or identify the enteric groups. So in negative text we will get a red color for positive sugar fermentation test uh, while the production of acid we will get an yellow color and in case of gas producing fermentation we will get an gas bubble on the Dorams tube. Now coming to second test litmus milk test this is is based on the production of acid or alkali so if acid or alkali is produced the litmus milk undergo clotting peptonization or saponification. This method is mainly used for the identification of clostridium species. The litmus milk has several components that can be metabolized lactose which is a milk sugar then casein which is a milk protein and a litmus for a pH indicator and 
change can be visible from 5 to 7 days. So it will produce a purple color at alkaline pH and pink color in acidic pH. So this is an observation. This is a control. It will produce purple color in alkaline pH and pink color in acidic pH. So next one is indole production test. This test is to determine the ability of microorganism to split indole from an amino acid tryptophan present in the peptone water. Poor bacterial culture must be grown in sterile tryptophan or peptone broth for 24 to 48 hours before performing the test. After the 24 to 48 hours of culture, we will add a reagent, the indole reagent or COVAC reagent. It consists of para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde, amyl alcohol and concentrated HCl. So it will give a pink or red ring for positive microorganism like E. coli and it will give a yellow to orange ring for negative microorganism like enterobacters. So this is the indoor production test. For positive test it will give a purple color and for negative test it will give a yellow to orange color ring on the top of the test tube. Now next one is methyl red test. It is a qualitative test for acidity produced by the microorganism. Upon addition of methyl red to isolated colony, positive organism will give bright red color. Example for positive organism is E. coli. And negative organism will give yellow, orange or green color. Enterobacter aerogens are example for negative microorganism. So positive will give bright red color and negative will give yellow, orange or green color. Now next one is Walker's Proscar test. It is mainly to differentiate bacillus species from enteric species. This test is performed by adding alpha naphthol and potassium hydroxide to Walker's Proscar reagent which has been inoculated with bacteria. So Walker's Walker's bacteria produce acetyl methyl carbonyl or acetone upon addition of focus Proscar reagent which will react with the peptone to give a red color. So the positive organism will give red color example is enterobacter aerogens and in case of negative reaction it will remain colorless for an half an hour. So that is focus Proscar test. Next one is citrate utilization test. This test is to identify the bacteria which utilize citrate as one of their starting product of metabolism. Observed in Simpson, observed in Simon citrate media, which consists of magnesium sulfate, ammonium dihydrogen phosphate, dehydrated sodium citrate, sodium chloride, agar, and bromothymol blue. So as the citrate is utilized from the media by the bacteria, the pH of the media will change. As the pH become more alkaline, the media will change from green to blue. So positive citrate test will give blue color and negative test will give green color. Example for positive organism is Klebsiella enterobacter. Positive organism will produce a blue color and negative organism will produce a green color. This one is IMBC test. It's a combination of the following test. Indole production test. Me M represent for methyl red test and o V represent for Walker's Proscar test and C represent for citrate utilization test. It is used to identification and classification of enteric and gram-negative bacteria like E. coli, Enterobacter and Klebsiella. So we will perform all the four tests and we will represent as positive or negative. The E. coli which will give positive test for indoor production, again positive test for methyl red test and negative test for focus Proscar test and negative test for citrate utilization test. But in case of 
ट एंड क्लबसीएल विच विल गिव नेगटिव टेक्स्ट फॉर इंडोर प्रोडक्शन नेगटिव टेक्स्ट फॉर मीदेल रेड टेस्ट एंड पॉजिटिव टेस्ट फॉर वोकस पोस्कर एंड पॉजिटिव टेक्स्ट फॉर सिट्रेट यूटिलाइजेशन नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट टेस्ट नाइट्रेट रिडक्शन टेस्ट इट ईज टू ऐडेंटिफाई द मैक्रो ऑर्गानिज प्रोड्यूस एंड एंजीम नाइट्रेट रिडक्टेज Bacteria grow for five days in a broth containing one percentage potassium nitrate is added to the test reagent, which consists of sulfonylic acid, alpha naphthalamine, and acetic acid. Upon addition to the reagent, the positive test will give red color due to the nitrate reductase, which will reduce nitrate to nitrite. Example is nit enteric bacteria. A negative test will give colorless. So this is the nitrate reduction test. Positive test will give red color, and negative test will give colorless. Now coming to the next one, ammonia production test is to identify the microorganism which will produce ammonia. To the pepton water culture grown for five days, the Nusselt reagent is added. so positive reaction will produce brown color and negative reaction will produce fine yellow color next reaction is urease test it can be done in christensen urease media which consists of gelatin pepton sodium chloride potassium phosphate mono basic urea phenol red and agar this test is used to detect the organism that produce urease urea is produced by the organism split the urea into ammonia and carbon dioxide so the conversion of urea to ammonia by urea is producing bacteria convert phenol red indicator to red violet color so urea is positive test will give pink color and urea is negative test will give yellow color example for urea is positive organism is proteus and klebsiella and urea is negative organism is e coli positive will give pink color and negative will give yellow color now coming to the hydrogen sulfate production test this is to identify certain bacteria which reduces the sulfur containing amino acid to h2s hydrogen sulfate so in this reaction we will uh, add lead acetate so that the hydrogen sulfate will react with lead acetate to produce a brown colored lead sulfate so filter paper strips dipped in lead acetate solution is inserted between the cotton plug so the presence of h2s is known by browning of paper strip this is methylene blue reduction this is this test is based on the principle that if variable bacteria are present in the milk they will reduce the methylene blue dye and decolorize the sample if kept for some time in dark place so methylene blue is reduced due to the depletion of oxygen in the milk as it is consumed so positive organism will decolorize the blue color and negative organism retain the color blue color next test is catalyze production test in this we will place a loop full of hydrogen peroxide on an individual colony on a nutrient agar so that the positive test will give effervescence which indicate the microorganism capable of producing catalase enzyme example like streptococcus aureus and negative test will not produce any effervescences examples are group b streptococcus but this test is not suitable for blood next test is oxidase reaction this is mainly to detect the presence of enzyme oxidase enzyme which is produced by certain microorganism or bacteria which will reduce the di tetra methyl para phenyl diamine dichloride so that the positive organism will give purple or blue color and negative organism will give colorless example for positive organism is pseudomonas vibrio and neisseria example for negative organism is salmonella and shigella next biochemical test egg yolk reaction 
egg yolk agar media containing suspension of egg yolk for the presumptive identification of various clostridium fusobacterium and probatellum the egg yolk suspension allow for the detection of lecithinase and lipase activity the degradation of lecithin in the egg yolk result in an opaque precipitate around the colony the organism producing lecithinase when grown on solid egg yolk media form colony surrounded by zone of clearance example for positive organism is clostridium perfringens next biochemical identification method is growth in presence of casein it is used to identify the potassium cyanide tolerant enteric bacillus we will transfer the inoculum of pure culture to sterile tube containing potassium cyanide froth and which will incubate at 35 to 37 degree celsius for 24 hours so if it is positive they will indicate the presence of turbidity due to the presence of growth in casein now coming to the last method triple sugar method consist of an triple sugar media a composite media used for the differentiation of members of enterobacteriaceae to study different properties of bacterium sugar fermentation like lactose sucrose glucose gas production and h2s production in addition to peptone yeast extract and agar it containing three sugars glucose lactose sucrose and iron salt ferric citrate also an indicator phenol red and we have to maintain the ph of the media at 7.4 this triple sugar media is an orange media with a slant and bud with ph of 7.4 so acid production will give yellow color and alkaline production will give a pink color so if we are getting yellow slant and yellow bud it indicate lactose fermentation like e coli and klebsiella so if it is produce pink slant and yellow but it indicate non lactose fermenters like salmonella and shigella so if it is pink slant and no color it indicate non fermenters prote like protease and if it is produce if it produce black color it indicate h2s production and gas bubbles or crack in the medium it indicate gas production so that is the triple sugar ion test so now coming to the next method of identification serological analysis so in serological analysis the specific sera is used for the identification of microorganism by serological reaction like agglutination and precipitation then pathogenicity test is used to find out whether the particular strain of microorganism is harmful for living organism which is carried out by inoculation of microorganism into laboratory animals like guinea pig pigs rabbits uh, rat mouse etc so inoculation is by giving iv im or intracellular injection and this method is rarely used now and finally genetic and molecular analysis in this we will study adenine thymine and guanine cytosine proportion which is differ for each species and genetic analysis is used to detect different enzyme toxin antigen metabolic end product and polymerized chain reaction so that is the genetic and molecular analysis so this is the reference for the identification of microorganism methods hope it is clear thank you for watching this video